Today we are making a little bit more of an elaborate dish. These are German pancakes with creamy cauliflower. You need, of course, that cauliflower that's been sitting around in your fridge for a while and is already getting wilty. We need some chopped onions. And that's already it on the whole chopping side. Uh, what else we need? We need a pancake batter. German pancakes are not the typical pancakes you see in the US. They are not leavened, so they're more like a crepe. What you need is a couple tablespoons of flour. All purpose is just fine. I'm gonna go for four because that makes a decent amount of pancake batter. That will leave me with some leftover pancakes, which then when they're cold, you slice them into short strips and you can put them into any kind of brothy soup and they're really nice in there. Next, we need four eggs. We need a pinch of salt. And that's it for the pancake batter. We might need a little bit of milk to water it down, but I'm already using a lot of eggs. So let's see where this goes. Yep, we're gonna need a little bit more liquid. See, it's getting really firm. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of milk. You could add water or you could throw in another egg if it's that thick that you can use an entire egg. It should be a little bit runny, otherwise you cannot form thin pancakes. This is a good consistency. And now let this sit for maybe 10 minutes so that the flour will fully hydrate because this will thicken a little bit. What I expected, we need a little bit more milk. Perfect. Before we're starting to make the pancakes, get a little bit of water boiling, put some salt in, and pre-boil your cauliflower. You want relatively little water because that gets a lot of flavor and then we use the water, at least a part of it, in making the sauce later. My pan is preheated on medium high. I'm using clarified butter. You could use oil, but butter is the way to go. And clarified butter doesn't burn as quickly as regular butter. So I'm always using clarified butter for things like this. You only want a little bit, maybe like an almond sized piece. And usually the first pancake is always pretty crappy. So you want to coat the pan thoroughly. Go in with one ladle of batter into the middle. And then just lift the pan up and swirl it around slowly. There's too much fat in this pan. And once the surface starts to firm up a little, you can see that the shine, the watery shine goes away. Then you just flip the thing around. Could be a tad bit darker, but this is perfectly fine. Then again, a teeny weeny piece of butter. There, now the paint is hot enough. So now it doesn't slide around anymore. See how this goes? Same procedure all over. The pancakes are taken care of. Just push them aside and let them sit there. And our cauliflower is cooked. So we're just gonna drain a little bit of it. So we might use that for our sauce. And here's the rest drained out. And this time we're essentially making a roux and from that roux, we make a sauce bernaise. And into that sauce bernaise, we put a hell of a lot of, of cream and the cauliflower and we're done. So for the roux, we are using real butter. Be generous. So once that butter has melted, we just do about an equal amount of flour in it. So let's say one and a half tablespoons, somewhere there. 
use a whisk and whisk that in. And yes, we should end up with something like this. Let this roast for a minute. At this point, I'm going to add my onions. Maybe I need a little bit more butter here. You don't want it to turn any more brown than this. You could use milk now, but I'm using the water from the cauliflower. Yeah, we have a really nice library paste kind of consistency. I'm now gonna add like half a cup of heavy cream. In terms of seasoning, add a little bit of nutmeg. And I just tend to use some kind of bouillon powder to give this more flavor. You can just use salt instead. A bit more liquid. And now add back your cauliflower. And let that simmer for a few minutes until the onions are cooked. Okay, I think we're good on the salt level. I'm just gonna add a couple grinds of white pepper. I like white pepper in dishes like this. You can of course use black pepper, but white pepper is a little bit more fragrant. And there is dinner. Let me show you how you plate this. So you will take a plate and you take a fork and then you go just with one fork time into the topmost pancake and you just roll it up. Like so. And maybe do a second. That's about my portion size. Two of those guys. And then you add some of that sauce. And there is dinner. If you enjoyed this episode, please like and subscribe and I will see you the next time.